You're watching Animal Planet. Say hello to Cabo, a four-year-old border collie from Center Hill, Florida, who is a scarecrow of sorts, scaring birds away from a fish farm. To the casual viewer, this looks like a harmless bird looking for lunch. But see it through the eyes of fish farmer Ron Slay and it looks quite different. Because all he sees is lost money. Each time one of these birds dips down and picks up one of those fish, uh, he's picking up as, as much as $7 wholesale. And each time, that's money lost for this fish farmer's business. It's pretty horrendous. Horrendous because the birds are getting lunch from the ponds at Florida fish farms. Ron raises fish for a living. Many people may think they're goldfish, but they're really koi carp. He makes money on every single fish he can sell. So when one bird can eat 20 fish per day, it adds up. It really adds up when you have 46 ponds to pick from. It's a place to eat, you know. I, you, you can't blame a bird for being a bird. But that's what Cabo's here to stop. It's, it's part of the team. Border Collies are best known for their skills in herding sheep. But Cabo uses his instincts to round up birds and send them flying, even if it's only to a nearby tree. To uh, some people, it wouldn't seem very successful if the birds are sitting in trees as they are in that roost over there, waiting to come back and eat. But they're not e eating any fish while they're sitting in that tree over there. So for the moment, we've accomplished something. So everybody who works at the farm, including Cabo, has one goal in mind. We're trying to keep fish alive so that we can sell them and stay in business another year. And this is a, a good, environmentally friendly way of uh, keeping the birds off the farm. In fact, over the past couple of years, Cabo's been accomplishing a lot. Uh, until Cabo came along, we were losing something in the neighborhood of $100,000 per year to bird losses. The bird losses are drastically down now that Cabo's come to the rescue, which is quite appropriate, since the dog that is rescuing these beautiful fish was rescued himself. Cabo came from a nonprofit organization called Border Collie Rescue in Melrose, Florida. Dr. Nick Carter takes unwanted border collies and finds work for them because work is about the only thing that keeps these dogs content. The hardest thing to get a border collie to do is to stop working. Dr. Carter says the same drive that makes them wonderful workers makes them high energy house pets, a little too high energy for most people, which is why so many border collies like Cabo end up here. Cabo came in from a family uh, who couldn't handle him because he was too aggressive. He basically had taken over their entire family. He was in charge of the household. It's a common complaint. Border collies demand daily exercise, preferably a job or an activity. If they don't get it here, dogs like Cabo have been known to take it out on their owner's furniture or their yard. So he came here instead of being put down, and uh, we worked with him, fixed his aggression, and now and gave him a job, and gave him a direction and a focus. In Cabo's case, the focus is the birds. Ron sends him in the direction of the birds, but it's up to Cabo to figure out the best way to get at them. That's what's called a free-thinking border collie, as opposed to a regimented border collie, which needs to be constantly guided with whistle commands. You don't ever solve your bird problem. All you do is you get up each day and you chase new birds or some of the old birds. You have to modify techniques as you can. Over the years, Ron has tried everything, trying to keep these little white fish robbers away from his ponds. Nothing has worked nearly as well as Cabo. Although that's not to say that Cabo has become a low-maintenance dog now that he's working. In fact, Dr. Carter still needs to come by occasionally for what's basically a tune-up. Cabo gets a refresher course in training, and Ron brushes up on his handler's technique by watching Dr. Carter work with his own dog, Shadow. And even though there's birds sitting right there and she wants to go after them, I'm not letting her. Until I say go. Border Collies are extremely intelligent, which many times means they easily form bad habits. Well, because she's a free thinker, we have to continually tell her that, uh, hey, this is what we want. It takes an experienced trainer to keep them on the right path. I tell people it's like, it's like windsurfing. It looks easy until you step up on the board and then you find out it's very, very difficult. So um, it's not a simple thing to go out and train these dogs. It takes us a year of constant work. 
After the work was done, however, Ron had himself the best bird defense he'd ever seen. Good boy. Good boy, Cabo. That'll do. Get a drink. Good boy. So that makes Cabo the perfect employee at Florida Fish Farms and the perfect pal for Ron. He, uh, he spends a lot of time with me and everything. Uh, we've bonded very well and uh, uh, he's, he's a pleasure to work with. You're on Animal Planet.